All right, hey, welcome back to Minecraft. Let me turn on full screen here and start up the world. I can't recall exactly where we left off last time. Once the world loads up, it should give me a give me just where we left off. Oh yeah, so let's let the world load in here a little bit. Uh, we had set up this farm last time, and I just finished up getting some fish. Oh yeah, I was out of food and uh, and fighting some raiders, and uh, I believe that's where we left off. And then oh, there's an abandoned alpaca here or a llama. Um, let's go ahead and cook our fish. And just one coal should do it. Oh, we have eight fish. Uh, we might need some more fuel. Let's put a couple saplings in there for the rest of the fuel there. And I um, should be using my, my leftover charcoal here since I now have a good amount of coal that should last me. Um, I did collect this crossbow from uh, killing that raider. And let's put away uh, some of these resources we're not going to need. I think I'll put the fishing rod back for now. We'll need that eventually when... Uh, it's, it's pretty convenient how fish tend to be in the river when we need them to be there. Uh, and it looks like there are some down there right now. Uh, let me go do a little, um, let me eat a uh, fish real quick. There should be one done. Uh, that'll put me exactly at full health. And uh, let's go grab some fish from the river here. Stock up and we can get our farm going in this episode. Um, oh, let's see how the llama there. Let's see, let's grab some more of these fish. Our uh, stone sword for this. Since they take one hit, and since I don't have a lot of iron at the moment, I uh, want to kind of conserve my my resources with the the iron, the health I have on the iron sword there. All right, so we got two more fish, which is very useful since we're pretty low on food here at the beginning. Uh, it's you know every bit of food we can get counts. And speaking of food we can get, I have some completed wheat or fully grown wheat over there. You can see almost around the tree. We'll go harvest that. And uh, let's put these in here, or oh, rather, these two can finish up cooking while we go harvest some wheat. And I'm already getting hungry again. Um, well, that was pretty quick, but uh, we should get a, a good machine going here when we have our whole farm set up going. And the sun is going down, but now I'm going to place my bed back in where it belongs here in my house. And the fish are done cooking. Very good, very good. And we can only sleep at night, so it's not technically nighttime yet. Uh, we have one iron and one flint left. Um, I do have the world set to hard mode, so I'm not going to want to head to the nether right now, so there's not a real big reason for me to need some flint and steel. Uh, but uh, I'll probably use this bone meal here to, to grow this mushroom. That might be a good uh, food source for me. Uh, but my reason with flint and steel is just uh, I could make some flint and steel and maybe um, get a bucket and head to the nether pretty quick here, but since I am on hard mode, I'm probably going to hold off on that at least for a while. Uh, so let's clear out some of this area here. I'm going to grow the mushroom real quick, and we'll see. I believe if you bone meal a small mushroom, it will turn into a big mushroom, and then you can harvest that big mushroom in order to get some, um, get some more of the, the type of mushroom. And maybe I need to do this in a specific location. Um, I think there might may need to be some sort of a specific light level to do this, or maybe it just works in a swamp biome. Oh, there's another raider over there. I guess, yeah, I thought they had dispersed in the last episode, but I guess they, they're still lingering around a little bit at least. Um, let's head over here um, and, and switch out my swords. I do have a good deal more of um, of armor this time, and a good deal more attack power than I did previously. There we go. So that wasn't too hard with um, my increased attack power uh, and increased armor. So let's see if we can just put the mushroom maybe right here. I want to make as much of an open space as I can. Um, and yeah, that's super odd. Yeah, it's probably a light level thing, and I could look this up, but let's just experiment around a little more. Does it have to be a specific type of grass? Like, how did these ones spawn? Okay, so it might, it probably needs to just be a certain light level. Um, and how can we achieve that light level? We may be able to do that if I, 
Maybe I'll place the mushroom here, get rid of the tree and the surrounding uh, mushrooms, and then I can grow it from there. Oops. Wow. Minecraft launcher uh, quit unexpectedly. I keep getting uh, those notifications. Um, that's uh, that's super odd. I'll have to figure out how to uh, to get rid of those. But um, for now, let's just harvest these mushrooms here. And the red one should still stick around. I'm assuming it'll still stick around. Um, hopefully it will. And then once the leaves are all gone here, we can bone meal it up and see if we can get a big mushroom out of that. But for now, let's go over to our farm located over here, our temporary farm. Not all of our wheat looks like it's uh, fully matured, but we do have a good amount here, uh, and we can harvest that up. Let's just uh, head over here, and there we go. So we can see, awesome, we have a new, some new recipes unlocked. Uh, the main one we're going to look for here is bread, and I'm assuming that is not fully matured wheat. This here is good to go, these four. Are also good to go. All right, let's head over here. This one looks good and cool. So we'll be back for the rest of the wheat, but we were able to get ten of them. That's a pretty good haul. Um, oh, are those raiders? Oh, the raiders got stuck in a tree. I see. That's pretty neat. Uh, let's go kill these raiders. I didn't. I didn't realize what exactly what had happened. Um, just hearing them talk or hearing their um, little growls or grunts or whatever that is. Um, awesome. That's, that's a good way to trap raiders, I guess, is get them trapped in a tree. Oh. Alright, and we should get a, a voluntary exile advancement made. Very cool. So, and I do have a flag now. A banner. Neat. Neat. Okay. Um, I thought that gave us some sort of a curse or something when you kill the, the flag bearers, but I guess not. I guess we're fine for the moment at least. Um, and yeah, so let me head back and check on my mushroom and see if there's enough space to uh, bone meal it yet. I'll grab a bite to eat a fish there, run past our mine here. Uh, that's probably pretty good. We can clear out the rest of this, the rest of this area. And we got an apple. Very important for the moment. But, uh, let's clear out some of the rest of this here. All right. And that's probably pretty good. Uh, the mushroom shouldn't go that high. Um, but let's uh, go ahead and bone meal it up. Grab the bone meal and see if this will work. All right, awesome, it did. And. Uh, the mushroom did end up going that high, but now we can harvest this uh, mushroom right here, and my iron axe is about to go, and so we may need to do another mining trip um, and to get some more um, some more iron here. But that's awesome. We have a lot of food here now with this mushroom. Uh, I believe the iron axe is the best way, or the axe is the best um, means of cutting down these um, these mushrooms. Let's make a stone axe though, because I don't believe, I think it's a pretty quick process, so we don't really need to use the iron axe. And we should, there we go, we can see we're collecting some of these mushrooms. Uh, some of these uh, red mushrooms, we're already at five. So this is a good way to farm these mushrooms, if you can get the right light level. And I'll probably end up making a room or something underground. Maybe that's what I'll use my basement for um, on the, the shack there. But this is a great way to get a lot of food uh, by harvesting these mushrooms. All right, let's here and cut that down and there we go so yeah we have a ton of these mushrooms uh, these red mushrooms so it's, it's good we save that one in order to get a lot more uh, by bone mealing it and it looks like it only takes one bone meal but I don't think I can place this again yeah it's about the light level on this um, so let's chop this down and that did take a lot of my axe away but 24 red mushrooms that's a lot of mushroom stew we can make with that um, Alright, so let's now head in and um, we can probably, I'll probably need to do another mining trip before setting up the farm just because we'll need some more iron in order to fill up our um, our farm area there, or the basin we'll be putting our uh, water in. Um, maybe we could go explore that temple and then head out on a mining trip, that's kind of, uh, kind of my new plan for what we could, what we could do here. Um, 
put the wheat away. We'll use that for bread down the line, but with an apple and some cooked fish, I think we're good for now. And, uh, and yeah, let's head out to that temple over there. And I'm going to actually, do I have any wood here? I'm going to leave a little bit of wood behind in case for some reason I die and need to head back here and get some more wood real fast. That's um, a quick means of getting the wood is just having some in a chest. All right, so let's head over to the temple. We'll see what kind of treasures in the bottom of the temple and then head out, maybe get a little iron and establish uh, a mining, kind of a process we'll use for mining going forward. Are there any, oh, we have some, some glitch sunflowers here uh, and some more fish, collect those while we're here. Any more fish? Doesn't look like it. So two, should click that two. There's one right here. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was the swimming. How do you exactly do that swimming? Let me try that real quick. I think I did a sprint. Yeah, I sprinted and then hit the space bar. Very cool, very cool. So let's head out of the water here. No more fish. Um, looks like there may be some fish over there, but maybe we'll get them on the way back. Um, so let's explore the temple here head in through the top and temples I think are, the, are pretty much the same as when I played Minecraft a few years back uh, pretty similar layout um, maybe we could grow mushrooms in our temple here but they do tend to have low light levels so mobs can stay in them for a very long time oh and they replaced the floor this used to be wool they had on the floor here but I guess they've replaced it with um, a more accurate um, what is this, uh, concrete or clay? Oh, terracotta, oh, okay, cool. So we got some, some terracotta here. I'm not sure exactly how to make that terracotta. I'll leave it there for now, but um, but we'll, uh, we'll definitely be using a lot of terracotta in our build of uh, our houses in the future. I'm just gonna tunnel down here. And are there any mobs down here? Does not look like it. Just uh, spiral down here. Hopefully there aren't any new traps in these. Uh, these do have some traps in them. The, um, the temples are, are pretty well known for having the, the trap right there at the bottom, the pressure plate that'll blow this whole place up if I step on that pressure plate. All right, and we're getting some new recipes here. Let's first mine out the floor here and mine that right there. That middle block is the problem. TNT. There we go. So now we can mine this pressure plate and and we're good to go. Yeah. Head down here, get some free TNT. Awesome. Um, let's fill this area in. We'll utilize this chisel that I'm not going to end up using. So for our chest, oh, we got a bunch of sand. Oh, they, these things used to have sand in them. That's a little unfortunate, but we do have um, a lot of, well, I guess we did need some sand um, for our, our windows and whatnot. A lot more spider eyes, a lot more of um, generally um, less valuable resources than there have been historically. But let's just collect everything in here to get an emerald. That's pretty good. Uh, and I'm definitely going to collect these chests, some free wood um, for building projects. And we got some enchantment books, flame and... What was that? Protection? Fire protection. Okay. So let's get this gunpowder here. Rotten flesh. We'll take it. And some horse armor. I don't see a big use for golden horse armor, but we'll take it anyway. Oh, we got an enchanted golden apple. That's awesome. Very good. A notch apple. Let's see. Let's just collect all this. Some bones. That's going to be good. More bone meal. Without having to kill skeletons, uh, because that can present, to, that can be a pretty, uh, Pretty tough thing to do sometimes, killing skeletons when they're, they're pretty strong. Mm -hmm. All right, um, how are we going to get out of here? I'm thinking maybe just use this cut sandstone and uh, just pile our way out to our staircase right here and then, then just climb on out. Then, is it dark outside? Looks like it may have gotten dark. That is not good. It'll be a tough time, scary time getting back, but uh, we should be able to make it if we just, you know, gun it and, uh, and head out of here. 
Yeah. Doesn't look like too many mobs have spawned yet. I kind of want to get greedy and get these fish right now, but a creeper or something's going to sneak up behind us. I know it. Um, let's just, um, I do have inventory room for these fish, right? Yeah, I do. Let me just grab the sword here. All right. Make sure no mobs have seen us. And uh, it may be a little hard to see these fish right now, but there's a lot of them in the water here. Sword fishing. All right, your spear fishing is sort of what we're doing here. There's a skeleton right there. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. We need to regain our. There we go. Collecting a good amount. There's a zombie who's spotted us. Head through here, collect our fish. And there's a creeper that spawned. So that's definitely a reason to start to head out of here, head out of this area. Um, but uh, I'm just going to keep getting these fish while there's only just one zombie following us. Um, there's some more fish over here. We can pretty easily outrun these zombies. Skeletons, on the other hand, are a little bit harder to outrun. And yeah, we're getting a, a mother load of fish here. Yeah, maybe they spawn more frequently than I had assumed. We may not need that uh, fishing pole. Let's see, so we're at about 13 fish. Pretty good. All right. Um, let's see if there's some other fish around here. But once I get the attention of a skeleton, I'll probably bolt. Let's swim over here. It's cool they added swimming to Minecraft. That uh, makes it a lot easier. Um, especially when, um, uh, especially when you're escaping from mobs in the water, um, just being able to move faster than them is a big deal. Right, let's see, where is a, a husk that has spotted us? And he's coming over here. They're pretty much the same thing as zombies. They just give you some sort of a food poisoning when they hit you. So we'll want to make sure we avoid him. But uh, we're pretty much on track to just head back to the house now. Yeah, so 15 fish, that's a pretty good haul. Um, just taking a dip. I'll probably stay away from this area here. Watch out for creepers, and we can get some cobblestone on the in our furnaces there in order to get some more of this brick and finish up our basement. Maybe have like a downstairs entrance or something. Oh, man. Yeah, this, this uh, window system looks super good. Super good. Um, let's see. Um, we do have some skeletons here that's they're gonna light on fire there, um, and we can go collect their bones. Let's go do that here. Um, switch out my cooked fish. Our inventory is pretty full, but we'll dump out we'll dump out the chests here in a second. Go collect some skeleton bones. No, thank you. There we go. We'll use these to grow more mushrooms. Some rotten flesh um, from the zombies there. Skeleton sitting in the water. Um, if the mobs are able to escape to the water like that, you'll see they're able to survive. I didn't see any of that. I thought I had seen uh, a skeleton over here. Maybe not. Um, well, let's go see if we can get that skeleton in the water and skeleton in the swamp. The bones, they're just a super big deal uh, for mushrooms right now. Oh, you got me. Um, let's see here. How am I going to get that skeleton? It's only going to be about three hits I need on that skeleton. So let's... One, two, three. There we go. So let's collect those arrows. What what kind of resource do I not need? I don't really need this rotten flesh. I'd rather have the arrows. He dropped. There we go. That's a couple of arrows. A little more important than rotten flesh uh, for our purposes. Let's see. Go get that skeleton in the swamp and should be good to go. Oh, it's nice. I saw one down here. He's hanging out under a tree or something. Maybe he escapes into the cave. Yeah, I don't know. Um, cool. Well, that is a pretty good haul. We got 13 bones and um, a good deal of uh, fish and bone meal. There. All right, so let's head in here. Isn't there like a bone block we can make? I believe that was something that's new. I don't know. Um, 
but uh, let's head in here, put these arrows away, uh, put these chests away. Oh, maybe I didn't collect the last chest there, but that's fine. Um, put the this uh, fire book away. I'm going to probably put some resources I'm not going to use as much in this chest here, and then some more important uh, or uh, more relevant resources probably over here. Um, these bones are going to be pretty relevant. The glass panes and leather are not going to be too, too relevant for us. Um, string, old string. Yeah, I probably won't need string. Um, gold, probably not going to use gold too much. We do have our apple, and let's get some things cooking. So our fish will get started over here, and we'll get some cobblestone going in the furnace. How much are we going to need? Uh, that is one thing I can count um, if I have. I guess my house is 9 by 9, right? I think it is 9 by 9. So yeah, there's going to be 7 in the middle, so 7 times 2 uh, is 14. And we already have some over here, so we're going to need uh, 14, 28, and then um, 28, 29, 30, uh, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So we're going to need 40 cobblestone turned into stone for this project. 40. So let's just uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then we'll get that cooking. Alright, let's eat some fish. Let's go about three. Uh, three hunger there. Hungry for three notches. Um, so then let's probably prep to go on a mining trip. Uh, down into the mines to get some more iron. We'll definitely need a lot more iron to continue building out our suit of armor and get some more tools like a bucket and um, uh, another axe and whatnot. So while the stone cooks and uh, and all that's going, let's go establish a mine. I think I'm going to go into the mine here, into the ravine we had uh, where we've been working, and I'm going to make like a strip mine somewhere uh, down here. This is just going to allow us to get pretty deep without needing to um, to do a whole lot of mining uh, to get down pretty far. Maybe, well, it's probably fine just to go through this little setup I have here. Is this, uh, this doesn't open up, does it? No, it does not look like it. And yeah, okay, so I guess we haven't been down here. I've uh, been down here too far um, into the ravine. We just attracted the attention of a zombie there. Um, he'll be coming up here for our brains here. Two swipes of an iron sword gets a zombie. That's pretty good. Pretty good. There was a baby zombie down here last time, but it seems like he has uh, possibly fallen in lava or something. Alright, let's see. Or more likely despawned. Um, here another zombie somewhere. Possibly through a wall. Or maybe... He'll be dropping in on us soon. Um, let's just uh, put this here, put that there, and build a little barricade uh, for this water. Clear this out a little bit. And we just are spreading lava now. That's not good. Great. Oh, there's more uh, cave. More cave down here. That's awesome. Uh, let's do this jump here. Someone gonna be dropping in. Oh, this is a massive ravine. That is awesome. That is super awesome. Yeah, well, let's prep to go on a mining trip in the next episode here. Oop. Yep. Uh, like I said, he's dropping in on us. All right, thank you. <laughs> Give me a little, little shot there. But um, yeah, let's cut that off. And um, we'll prep. Wow, this is an awesome ravine. Awesome, awesome ravine. Uh, we got a lot of iron, and maybe, maybe we should just explore this ravine more. Um, my plan was to start a strip mine immediately, but we may be able to get some more out of this um, by just um, sticking to our um, our strategy of, of walking around the cave here and, and mining it up. So let's let this creeper either despawn or blow up or just do what he's going to do. And let's... Oops. This is not good. Fell down here. Let's just uh, make a little hole. It's always good, especially in hard mode, to just um, pull up whenever you fall or go into a place where you could possibly be attacked, especially when you have low hearts like I do. Let's plan to 
walk out of here and pile up. Um, probably not too interested in exploring, especially in hard mode right now. There's a creeper over there. Oh, there's a creeper. He followed us down here. All right, let's. Uh, this is a tough situation. Let's see. Um, definitely gonna want to eat some food. Maybe the apple right now. And uh, we will escape back to our house. And now that we know that all this cool stuff is down here, we can explore that in a future episode here. I could always just turn it on peaceful or something, just temporarily, but uh, that's that's no fun. Um, you know, it's pretty. It's a lot more engaging to get out of a challenging situation. Um, all right, let's see here. Let's open this up. This way we can get out of the creeper's sight when he walks over here and give him a little pop in the head there with our sharp iron tools. No, thank you. We want to be able to escape his view so he does not blow up on us. Hello? Hello? Alright. See so you came for a visit. And there we go. Great. So let's escape out of here. Pile our way up real quick. Oops. Hopefully no skeletons shoot at us. And well, yeah. Hard mode is a lot more of a challenge, but uh, is a lot more rewarding. Um, let's head back to the house now that we know that all these cool resources are down here. We can. Um, maybe do a shorter mining trip and then or maybe we just take a furnace down here with us and we can make some iron armor and just kind of go from there um, uh, I was thinking maybe we could get some some more heavier protection um, and then head down to the cave but if we just take a furnace with us we can just turn the iron we harvest uh, the iron ore we get and turn it right into iron on the spot and build out a suit of armor and then come up with a whole lot of coal and iron now that we know it's all down there. And then somewhere I'll build a strip mine at the bottom of that cave. Or at the bottom of the ravine. But it is uh, really awesome how extensive that place is. Um, or how expansive it is. Um, and let's head down here and finish up some of our little basement area we have going. I keep feeling like I hear a creeper, but uh, I guess not. Um, and let's light this place up. Um, we'll be down here to, we'll probably build a, um, a little hatch or something inside of our house we can use to get down here. Maybe, maybe I could also put some glass down here. I don't know, maybe like a, a ceiling on the roof or something, or like a, a window right here to get some natural light in here. That might be a pretty cool thing to do um, if we did a similar style to what we have upstairs. Um, I'll probably build this area out so we can accommodate that. That would be pretty cool if we built that same kind of style. And we'll definitely need to get away for me to, to head out of here right now. but. Uh, but that's probably what we'll do is, is have like maybe a, um, some glass on the ceiling right there or the, the high, uh, high up on the wall there. Um, but yeah, oh, that'll probably wrap it up for this episode. But uh, in the next one, we'll probably get some more glass. And you know what? Why don't I get some more glass cooking right now so that in the next episode, we can uh, go ahead and start with that. Get six going and um, some, get some glass cooking and we can uh, get started putting our glass in in the next episode and um, then go on a mining trip. So yeah, this has been Will Middleton. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.